welcome back to The Metal Hunter. My name is Luke. Um, I've just had a, a short but much needed week off uh, from making videos. I just basically spent time playing video games and watching movies and shit like that um, because I'm actually back to work this week. Uh, so lockdown is over. Didn't get anywhere near my 10,000 subscribers, but I've got a new uh, goal. I still want to get to the 10,000 subscribers, but I'm aiming for the end of the year. So if you can help me out with that, make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you leave me a comment, make sure you share this video if you like what you see. All right, with all that bullshit out of the way, the new schedule will be that I will be releasing less frequent videos, um, but hopefully it will be good quality content that you're going to want to see. Um, I will be focusing on unsigned bands for my reactions. I will also continue to do my uh, month in metal, my uh, year in metal, and some of the entry level episodes. They won't be as frequent. They might be like once a fortnight, once once a um, once a month kind of thing. Um, I'm also looking at doing a ranking of albums by bands. Uh, I'm not really sure how I can do that, um, mainly because. I get in my own head about it and sometimes I'm like, oh, maybe I like this album more, maybe I like this album more, and I, I fucking basically go around in circles. So leave it with me, but I'm sure that I'll have more content for you. Uh, but for today, I am going to be reacting to a brand new band. They're called Inhibitor. They're from Melbourne. As I said, they're brand new. Like, they've only been around for a few months. They've released a single called Loathing, and that will be coming off the upcoming EP Abhorrence, which is slated for a mid-2020 release, so hopefully very shortly. Um, their press release reads, Melbourne's inhibitor are here to usher in the new age of deathcore, injecting life into the Australian metal scene with their crushingly heavy new video for their recently released debut single, Loathing, with a track taken from their upcoming EP, Abhorrence, slated for a mid-2020 release. The video is as unholy as the single itself, acting as the perfect introduction to this new con congregation of chaos. Well written. Beautiful. Ah. I'm so ready for this. Love Deathcore, as you guys know. If you haven't seen my Deathcore video, you definitely should check that out. In the meantime, here we go. This came out on April 10th, so not long ago. Get this shit on, get my shit on the right way. Let's get some breakdowns. Turn this shit up. Ooh, Ooh maybe not. Yeah. 
Yep. <laughs> yep. Is that it? That's it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so many, so many thoughts about that. Okay. So they've obviously taken, they're leaning on the death in death core. They didn't rely on too many breakdowns. In fact, there was basically one breakdown in the middle of that, which I think is fantastic. I think too many deathcore bands, especially modern deathcore bands, are leaning on just how heavy and how slow they can do breakdowns. These guys were very calculated with the way that they structured their songs, or their song, I should say, um, and leaning on the blast beats and more intense kind of parts and that kind of ethereal kind of sounds in the background really really uh helps with the creepiness of the of the vibe especially that psych out i thought there was going to be another breakdown right towards the end and just coming in with the blasts is a very very smart way to to catch your uh, audience off guard i definitely enjoyed that the only piece of constructive criticism i can make and it probably isn't even constructive criticism i feel like the vocalist was going too much all the time Fantastic voice, amazing screams, amazing death growls. But a part of the reason that I didn't really enjoy the last Thy Artist Murder album is I felt like CJ was singing too much. He would sing over every single part. He wouldn't let any riffs breathe. I felt like maybe this guy was singing a little bit too much. Maybe let a brother breathe every now and then, you know. Um, as you guys know, I love to check out the lyrics. So fortunately in the YouTube uh, original video, the, the lyrics are there. It'll be linked down below so you'll be able to check that out. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so the vocalist's name is Jesse. Fantastic vocals, absolutely incredible vocals, but I think maybe there was just a little bit too much with the vocals. Just let, let it breathe a little bit. Okay, so lyrics. Human hearts are so hollow, so who will you choose to follow? Uh, come forth, my unholy host, our lord of slavery. Straight from the bowels of a sinister hell, something evil this way spews forth with purpose. As sure as the rising sun, it feeds like a serpent. Fuck, that's metal. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Look, amazing uh, quality of the song. Uh, the production was top notch, sounded fucking brilliant. You could actually uh, hear each enunciated word from the vocalist as well, which I find happens sometimes where uh, it, it happens that, um, you know, death, deathcore vocalists, they just basically push out their, their cheeks and then just let all the, it's almost like the syllables aren't coming through and it's just a, a, a gravelly fucking vacuum cleaner of a vocal. But when you can actually hear those words being enunciated, regardless of how distorted they are, it actually, I think that it adds to the intensity of the song. Um, also, as I said, with the production, the guitars shine through, the drums were fucking massive, um, which is really good, especially with that extreme style with the blasting and everything like that. I'm a huge fan of a blast beat. So um, the video itself was high quality. Um, I'm glad that it wasn't just a, hey, we're in a, a, an, a in an abandoned warehouse and here's us headbanging. There was a little bit of story and a little bit of depth. And the promo note that said uh the video the video was unholy was absolutely right on right on track another little note that was in the in the promo kind of like media release was creating the video didn't come easily as the band had to coordinate efforts across the country to make it happen the music video concept came to me when i was actually working in western australia i had talked with cinematographer jackson webster prior to uh, about shooting a music video the next step was to call in favors from my friends kyle and tyrone who both have a keen eye on design myself and tyrone spent hours chatting back and forth about the cross concept uh which in the video if you look closely has been engraved with kyle's artwork symbols on the wood that he drew up which is fucking awesome the vocalist uh, jesse burr actually explains that so the video itself is fucking awesome and apparently so the band is comprised of ex-members from local heavy heroes from melbourne uh, state of east L london who are fucking awesome contact hollow world who i've reacted before uh, to before her Majesty and Eater of the Sky. I'm not familiar with all of those bands except for State of East Lo uh, State of East London and Hollow World. So, look, a bit of a super group for us, you know, an Aussie super group, bunch of bunch of awesome people getting together to make some really awesome music. If this is the first thing that they've got to offer, fuck, I cannot wait to hear everything else. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm gonna pick up an EP, or yeah, I'm gonna pick up an EP when it comes out. Hopefully, it shouldn't be too long. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. Do you like deathcore? Do you hate deathcore? What did you think of these guys? Do you think that they're a refreshing style on, on deathcore. I genuinely do. You know, they've got a lot of the same tropes that a lot of bands do, but the bait and switch with the without like going straight into the breakdown or leaning on on the, the heaviness of the breakdown, I think this is a very, very quality thing and a really smart thing for these guys to do. Uh, looking forward to seeing what else they do. 
Uh, if you've got any unsigned bands, bands that aren't big, they might be signed. That I just, I'm, I just want to promote as many small bands as possible. I don't want to do the normal reactions. Everyone reacts to fucking, you know, all the big bands. I might do them every now and then, but I really think that it's important for me to focus on on younger bands and unsigned bands. So if you've got any of those them shits, let me know down in the comments. Everyone that's already commented with videos that you want me to react to, I do have them on the list and I am going to get to them uh, in the next couple of weeks. So please bear with me. As I said, I am back at work. So videos, they won't be as frequent as they were. Make sure that you subscribe. As I said, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, which I think is, it's, it's doable with your help. Please help me out. And if you want to follow me on social media, I'm at The Metal Hunter on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. In the meantime, I've been Luke, The Metal Hunter. Catch you later. Bye. Still.